Hey, I just wanted to do a quick explainer of why I got the air conditioner I did. So there's two types of air conditioners. You know, you have the air cooled or the water cooled. Now for most Marines, you're gonna get the water cooled. And the reason I didn't get the water cooled is because a lot of the places I'm going to uh, have dirty water. Say for instance, like South Louisiana, places like that. Uh, you're gonna be sucking up all kinds of stuff into your little strainer basket. And then also the cost of the water cooled was a lot higher. See, I wanted to go DC so I could run it off my batteries. And if I went AC, I could still run it off my batteries, but I would have to run it to the AC panel and then run it to the inverter and then run it off the battery. So it's not very efficient at all. So the way I'm doing it is going straight to DC. Now, say you want to do the same as me and do the DC. So what are your options? Well, you can do the one that goes in the roof. I think Dometic makes one. I've never tested this one. It might be good. It's uh, pretty expensive. I think it might be called the Nomad. I think it's around $4,000 though. And the problem with it, uh, with RV roof ACs, I noticed they're really loud. They're not super efficient. I really wanted to kind of go split unit because it would be the most efficient off my batteries. And then on the Marine, if you go DC, there's, of course, the AC and the DC. The AC units are around $1,200. I think Will Basto and people like that make them. And then you have to buy the kits that are around $1,000 to go with it. And then the installation, you know, you have to go through whole places like that. So it's, it's pretty good installation and it takes up a lot of space. Now, say you want to go DC on Marine. Well, your choices are, say, Cruise and Comfort, Marlboro makes one. I looked at the Marlboro units and they seem really nice. The, the issue is with any of those units is they're around $4,000, give or take, and you still have to buy a $1,000 kit to go with them for the strainer baskets and the filter and the pump and all the, all the parts that go with it. You still have to usually run vents and places like that, so it's still a pretty good install. So the unit I went with is kind of made for semi-trucks, I guess you would say you could put it on the back of a cab of a semi truck. It's a car unit. It's not a split unit like you would see in a house that has the copper lines. It has the R134A with the rubber hoses. And so it can handle vibration and things like that a lot more than a, a home unit can. So I'll put links and specs of what I got in the description down below. If you want to be more risky, you can probably find it a lot cheaper on like Alibaba or somewhere like that. Uh, get it shipped directly from China and you might better save some money. You know, you might better get it down to $800 to $1,000. So just look around and see what you think. There's so many air conditioner options. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do because there's just so many options. And they all, they all have their goods and bads. I just went with what I like the best.